Like our programming language and frameworks, our tools were made for each other. Xcode brings together everything you need to develop, test, and distribute apps across all our platforms. TestFlight and Xcode Cloud make the experience seamless, from your first line of code to the first download in the App Store. Now, Ken will take us through a look at the latest developments. For all Apple platforms, one tool is at the center of your developer experience, helping you build all your great apps. Xcode. It brings together powerful features, like an editor that blends crafting code and designing user interfaces with interactive previews and live animations, and built-in source control for making, reviewing, and sharing changes with your team. Debugging, profiling, and testing tools to help you evaluate and refine your app. All of it is connected in Xcode Cloud, a continuous integration and delivery service that simplifies distribution to TestFlight and the App Store. But for Xcode 15, there are some big updates. And let's start where you spend most of your time, the source editor. Code completion helps you get the code you want faster and with fewer mistakes. With Xcode 15, you'll start with the most relevant completions, with the editor using the surrounding code for prioritization. Whether that's the most appropriate modifier for a specific view you're using, or when you're chaining modifiers as you customize a view. And Xcode will automatically generate symbols for your asset catalog resources, which means they show up in code completion and are easy to use in your code. Now, this gives you type safety and peace of mind that your assets are available at runtime. A great place to use those assets is in your Swift UI views. Xcode's previews are a seamless way to iterate on your UI with nearly instant feedback as you design right alongside your app's code. In Xcode 15, previews are easier to use and available in even more places. It starts with a new syntax built using Swift macros that is simple to write and easy to remember. But working with different platforms and devices is now easier. You can choose them right in the canvas to make sure your views look great everywhere. And you can now use previews across all UI frameworks. Wherever you're using Swift UI, UI Kit, or App Kit, you can iterate on your UI with a consistent experience from anywhere in your code. Now, to keep pace with quickly making and previewing changes, Xcode streamlines how you review and commit those changes. Many of you use Git staging in your workflows, and now it's integrated directly into Xcode. Now, you can stage or unstage any change with just a click, crafting your next commit without leaving your code. From the Source Control Navigator, you can review all your changes in a single view, helping you put the finishing touches on your commit. And Xcode shows unpushed commits, too, so you can perfectly time getting all your commits together into a pull request. Now let's talk about testing. It's an essential part of creating a high-quality app. As your code grows across many platforms, devices, languages, and user features, navigating your test results and knowing where to focus well, that can be challenging. Xcode 15 includes a complete redesign of the test report, giving you new tools to better understand your results and take action. And it starts with a beautiful results overview. It shows me top insights, including common failure patterns, like those with the same assertion message. I also get a comprehensive summary of how my tests ran across configurations, like device and language. And that helps me spot patterns. And there's a heat map to quickly show me where to focus. Now, I've been working on a feature in the Backyard Birds app. And looking at my latest test run, I see I've got some issues. I'll start by clicking on this insight. Now, it looks like a tap gesture is failing across my new test. I'll click this test that failed, which gives me a detailed view of the test activities here on the left, along with a full recording of the app's UI over on the right. I can select a specific activity or I can use the new timeline to jump to any moment. I can see marks for interesting points like when the test scrolled this view here, or over here where it tapped the search field. And this is a full video recording that gives me much more detail, showing me exactly what happened before the test failed. I'll play it to see what happened. And here the test is selecting some food to feed the bird. The bird starts flying around. And then it disappears before my action is complete. 
which is what caused my test to fail. Now, this new test detail with a timeline and video recording makes reviewing tests for animations, gestures, and other UI experiences so much faster. And when I need more than video, I can also see accessibility frames, giving me even more insight into my views. All combined, the new report experience gives you deep insights, finer details, and more interaction to get the most out of your testing. And it works seamlessly in Xcode and Xcode Cloud. Now, Xcode Cloud is a continuous integration and delivery service that helps you build, test, and share your app across all Apple platforms. It's deeply integrated into Xcode, saving you time by keeping you focused in one place. It leverages Apple's cloud infrastructure to offload your builds, tests, and even code signing for distribution. It connects with Apple services like TestFlight and App Store Connect, and it's built with advanced security to protect you and your projects. Last year, we made Xcode Cloud available to every member of the Apple Developer Program. Tens of thousands of teams onboarded their projects directly from Xcode, and the feedback has been great. And we continue to make Xcode Cloud even better. We really care about performance. Since last year, we've made significant investments so you can do even more with your compute time. And we've also added your most important requests. When distributing to TestFlight, you can now create and share tester notes, helping keep all your users up to date on your latest improvements. Xcode Cloud also supports macOS notarization when distributing with developer ID. So you can automatically check your app for malicious components before sharing it with your users. With just a few minutes to set up your workflows, you can take advantage of hours of compute time to build, test, and deploy your apps. And we are excited about the future of Xcode Cloud as we continue to make it faster, safer, and more flexible. Over the last year, we've optimized the compiler for the multi-core architecture of Apple Silicon to make all of your builds faster and more scalable. The linker has been redesigned from the ground up, bringing massive improvements in link speed. Linking is up to five times faster. The new linker also reduces the size of debug binaries by up to 30%. And for apps that embed a lot of frameworks, there's a new framework type that delivers faster builds during development and reduced app size and faster launch time for production. Finally, we continue to make Xcode faster and easier to just get started. On the Mac App Store, Xcode is now 50% smaller, and all simulators are downloadable on demand. Now that means you can get started quickly and install the platforms you need at just the right time.